Hey guys, this is Jim with Bronzeville Comics. It's been a while. I've been watching the Olympics for like two and a half weeks. I have a whole bunch of stuff to unbox. I got packages everywhere. So let's dig into them. So let's see what we got here. I got a bunch of stuff um, that I want to get uh, into. I don't even remember exactly what I ordered. I know I have some pretty cool books in here somewhere. Ah, this I found um, Johnny Quest, the 1980s Comico series. Um, issues 11, 12, 13, and 14. That completes the series for me. I really started collecting this, I think, with issue 15. Um, so I got one through 10. Um, this is a really fun read um, from back in the day. The one thing I do want to get is the 1960s Gold Key Johnny Quest, which is an expensive, expensive book. Oh, up next, this seems like multiple comics, maybe. Let's dig into this. weeks ago. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is good timing. Another Infinite Crisis set. I'm going to take a close look at numbers three and five. First appearance of Blue Beetle, Jaime Reyes, and first appearance of Jaime Reyes in the Blue Beetle costume. Those books have blown up in the last week. Since there have been um, rumors about that uh, becoming either an HBO film, an HBO series, an actual film. Um, and there's been um, some information that the actor from the Karate Kid TV series. Oh yeah, there's a Blue Beetle number five. Right. There are three covers. There's a Superman versus Superman of Earth 2. George Perez cover, and then there's a sketch cover on the reprint. This looks like a nice book. And then number three. So those are good books. I have, I don't know, at least half a dozen of each of those. So that's that's good to find today after the price has just gone wacky on this. Hmm. This is a big box. A slab, perhaps. I did order a couple of slabs. Um, one I got, uh, I believe, uh, it's a heritage auction that I won. Yep, Heritage Auctions. So there's their paperwork. This gets me just want some bubble wrap. That's a good slab box, actually. Not to put that aside. I just mailed out a couple of slabs. I just sold two 9.8 copies of Superman for the first Blood Sport um, because that book has just gotten hot with the uh, Suicide Squad movie coming out within the last week. Haven't watched it yet because I've been watching the Olympics. Um, the garbage over there. Unravel, 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 unravel. This is some good golden age goodness in here. Lots of bubble wrap. And we have a, I'm gonna take it out of the bag business card on front uh, and a sticker with what this is and the uh, lot number. I actually had this at one point and sold it years ago. So leading comics number four. I think I only need at this point two more issues to complete the run. So it's a, a 3.5 cream to off-white pages. But um, The Seven Soldiers of Victory, if you've been following this channel, you know I love me some Seven Soldiers of Victory. Looking forward to uh, Stargirl coming out tonight. Um, and uh, this uh, nice slab in the collection. I'll put it back in the bag here. So that was, that was a nice book to uh, add to the collection. 
I think I have 12 of the 14 issues now of Leading Comics. So that's pretty awesome. I'm going to have a lot of cleanup to do of boxes and packages and tape and bubble wrap after this. That's something I'm really, really looking forward to. Yeah, I have not gone really out to get to get comics to yard sales or flea markets or anything for a few weeks, so everything's been coming to the house via eBay for heritage. Um, okay, what do we have here? Boxes and oh, nice painter's tape. And with pull tabs, that makes it so much easier to free the comic. Marvel Spotlight number two, first appearance of Werewolf by Night. That's a nice book. I have to take a real close look. There's a little bit on the spine there. A little bit of discoloration at the bottom here. But all in all, a little something there. I still think there's a good solid mid-grade. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I paid for this, but I know I was aware of these defects. And the price is... Um, the price that I paid I thought was, was pretty fair. And I think I'm going to send this out to CGC. I think this is going to be a nice book to have. Um, that, that was a really cool pickup. What's next? Uh, let's look at this box. Envelope within a box. That's an envelope they were used. That's junk. Okay, let's see what's in here. Look at this. This, I know, Young Avengers number one. Huge, hot book. Looks nice. I paid less than $300 for this. And as long as it's in a 9.0, that's a, that's a plus. Also, I do see maybe some spine ticks that could possibly be pressed out, but this is a really nice book to have. This was, when I saw that for the price and the condition looked good enough, I, I really jumped on this one. So this is another one I'm going to send out to get graded. Love it. Love it. I was going crazy picking up some cool stuff. As it stands right now, I, I have nearly 100 books out at CGC. I think I have uh, 385 books out at CGC right now. Um, I sent out 10, and I'm trying to keep it to uh, 25 at a time. So I just, yeah, I have 75, three full orders in the... Oh, what, the oh, my, ti my timing is so good. Look at this. Boom! Boom! Infinite Crisis 3 and 5. More Jaime Reyes goodness. This is awesome stuff. Um, it's... Both of them are the, um, the secondary covers, the Perez covers. But those are great. These are aw awesome books to get. Um, again, I was searching these out. I was, not, I was not paying a lot for any of these Infinite Crisis books. Um, so... The, the prices I bought these for that I'm just unboxing for now, you cannot get prices like that on those books right now. Um, they have just skyrocketed. So it's like trying to get a Kang book. Um, so that is that. Jaime Reyes was, uh, has been one of my real spec books. Um, and I picked up, like I said, I have to have at least half a dozen each of numbers three and five um, in high grade. Uh, here. Wrapped in paper towel. I think that's a first time I've seen that. Uh, so welcome am, to welcome to Kitchen Boxing, where we will find um we will be reviewing the best materials in your kitchen. Picker picker upper. In your nearby kitchen. <laughs> so. 
mean, this is so strange. But what do we got here? I have. Oh, oh my this. Gosh. Ah, some PC stuff. These I got. I thought they they were a good price for a lot, and it was mostly books that I needed for my personal collection. Um, some of these I have, but it's a whole bunch of. Um, I guess these would be 12 and 15 cent Justice Leagues. I don't even know what numbers we have here. Right here, it's 71. Um, trying to find the numbers. 72. 73. 74. 75. 76. 78. 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, and 84. So those, I, I have some of these, but these are in pretty nice shape. They were listed as like fine to very fine. Um, I would take a closer look, but they look, they look nice. So we're getting some weather here. But those, those are, I like. Okay, uh, priority mailbox. Let's see what's in here. Hopefully this is something nice. Well protected, whatever it is. I have a suspicion I know what this book is, but I'm not certain. I can get some bubble out of it. And then there's tape here that we have this nice. More bubble wrap inside. There's going to be plenty of bubble wrap I'll be able to reuse. I'm not going to reuse the paper towels, to be honest with you. There's a bag in here, or an envelope, I should say. I think this is a nice book if, I, if I'm thinking of what I'm thinking. And it might be something we've already seen. You want to be careful with these... Uh, so this oh this is um a copy i bought not the highest grade but it was a really good price it's marvel chillers number one with modred the mystic but more so it's the first appearance of Kathan, which there is speculation that that character will be coming to the mcu perhaps in the multiverse of madness so i i was cheap um, it was one of those things like auction timed at a weird time in the middle of the night. So, I figured out, let me pick that up. Okay, this is a book that, uh, I was searching for. It's one of these DC, it's from my DC 1972 books that I'm collecting. It's one of these gothic horror titles, The Dark Mansion of Forbidden Love, number four. This was advertised as, I think, a very fine... Looks in nice shape. No creases, no, no visible defects. So that, um, I've been trying every week to pick up another DC 1972 book. I'll go straight to recycling. This, I'm just going to open up one bag. I got all of these, and I opened the box just because it came on a very rainy day. And I wanted to make sure that the books inside weren't wet, but oh, there's some good stuff in here. This is just a whole huge lot of Captain America books. Okay, um, I'm not sure the condition. I think there are some minor keys in here, but I'd have to really go through. I'm gonna put those on the side and go through them. But it's a nice run of, of there's quite, there's three of these envelopes full of like 80s, late 80s and 90s Captain America books. If I remember correctly. Oh no, this is uh, another DC 1972 romance book, Falling in Love. This is a nice copy. 
Falling in Love 131 from April of 1972. So this just goes into my DC 1972 collection. Again, if you've been watching, I'm trying to collect every DC comic, every DC comic, horror, Western, war, romance from 1972. So this is another one of those. That's a nice shape too. I've been trying recently to get the books in higher grade, not just settling for reader copies. Because I do have all, I believe I have all the keys from 1972. This, ooh, a little bit of a thing here. Let's see what's in this box. It's a FedEx. I think this is, uh, I'm not sure if this is a slab or not. It's a, I think either way, it's a big bronze book. That's what I'm guessing. If I'm kind of remembering what's left, whether it's slabbed or not, that is the question. Let's see what we got. I got plenty of bubble wrap. I'm, I, I do not throw away the bubble wrap because you can always reuse it. So I just ordered two more boxes of bubble wrap for my, my own shipping needs. Here we go. Let's, let's in a comic mailer. This is a well-protected book. Very well packaged by this um, seller. Some double backing boards. So I gotta take it out of the bag to, to look at it. Backing board on each side. Ah, yes. This and this could, it could use a press. But oh, it's got a little stain there. I didn't see in the pictures. Let's see how that transfers. Hmm. Okay. Still is, is a pretty high-grade copy. I think I got what I paid for it. Another copy of Werewolf by Night. Uh, first appearance in Marvel Spotlight number two. So I have two of those that I just recently picked up. This book has been um, gaining a lot of steam recently. With speculation, just pure speculation, this definitely needs a press, though, that uh, this character will be coming to the MCU. Maybe in the Moon Knight series, or that uh, MCU is going to really open up their um, horror genre. Um, here's another book. I think this is a DC-72 book. Some pull tabs. Not. Oh, maybe this is something else. Oh no, this is this. I, I another one. There's a stain on it, but I think other than that, it's in really nice shape. I got this. This was another one of these like weird hours auctions that ended in the middle of the morning, like at 3 a.m. or something. Um, Tales to Astonish number 90, the first appearance of the Abomination. And that book took off a few weeks ago when he was in the Shang-Chi trailer. Um, but I think I got a nice deal on this despite this, this stain on the front. And that's really the only major blemish that it has. So it'll be, it'll be docked for that. But I still think I got a really good deal. I think I paid like a 3.0 price for this. So I was happy with that. One more. So by process of elimination, I know what's in there. And I'm really happy with the haul I got here. I got that Young Avengers. I got two um, Marvel Spotlight number twos. Um, I got that uh, First Abomination. So there were some, and a, and a couple more. Um, Jaime Reyes first appearances. It's a slab. This is a really nice slab. I got to my mind, a steal of a deal on this particular slab. This is um, a book that was hot when the movie came out. I already have two copies of this. I mean, I picked this, this comic up as a kid when it first came out. Um, and I'm a huge fan of this character. I, 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 as I said, I have two copies, but they're not in the... Uh, the condition, I don't think they're in the condition that this one's in. And I picked it up largely for the condition. So, I am going to... So, this is a copy of Shazam number one. Right? We know that there's a second movie coming. 
and it's a 9.8. I got this, I think, for $625, which is about half of what it was going for um, when the movie came out. So I thought it's, it is um, off-white to white pages, not white pages for a 9.8, but still, that is a beautiful, beautiful book to have. Um, so I'm going to hold on to that for now. As I said, I have two other copies flying around somewhere in storage or something of that. But um, I thought that was a steal of a deal. So that's my haul. Some really nice books, I thought. Um, let me know what you thought of what I picked up. So that's it. And until the next time, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And until next time, enjoy your comics.